do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve the next question question number 15 of the paragraph and match the following we'll discuss about question number 15 We have done so far question number thirteen and fourteen. So let us solve question number fifteen. So friends, let us solve this uh, last question of this paragraph, fifteen question. In which uh, case would you would the particle move in a straight line along the negative y direction? Negative y. So the ball. Here the aim is to move the particle. Suppose this is your uh, x, this is your y, and this is your z axis. So the body has to move in negative y direction. मतलब means it is in this direction. This is negative y direction. So in this case, what we'll do, we'll see all the options starting with one. So first option we'll check. The first option says two from column one, three from column two, and q from column three. So two three q. So what is two three q stands for? You can see here two stands for this, three stands for this, and this. So I'll just write it down for you. Two stands for electron with a velocity. E naught divided B naught y cap. This is two. Three is for electric field, and that is given as E equals to minus E naught x cap. And the last one is Q. Q is for magnetic field B, and this is given as Q is this one B naught x. So our aim is to find uh, aim is uh, which of these will uh, make the particle move along this direction. So the net force would be in that direction. That means uh, already I am giving uh, the particle velocity in this direction. Initially, this is the initial velocity which is in this direction, positive y cap direction that is given, and that value. U equals to E naught divided by B naught y cap. Now these are the fields applied where the body will go. The magnetic field is along this direction. So the magnetic field is acting in this direction. B naught x cap direction. and the electric field is in negative x direction in this direction the electric field is applied in this direction this is our e not x cap i am not writing minus because i have already given the direction so because uh, one by one what is the effect of uh, the force due to electric field and force due to magnetic field obviously if i see that i can uh, by common sense say that the body will never move in that direction because the electric field will always uh, move the electron against the field the field is in that direction so the electron move will in the opposite direction so this has a tendency to force acting on this uh, particle electron due to electric field is uh, towards right so the electron basically electric field force due to electric field is towards right and uh, what about the force due to magnetic field qv and uh, that is b it should be down but it is up because uh, it is electron so qv b is down but is up so magnetic field will be in z direction the force is in the z direction so here uh, 
I will say positive z direction. So dot for that I will write positive z direction. So this is the force due to magnetic field. Now this is a situation that uh, the particle was moving in the direction and uh, the force due to electric field is acting in that direction. So finally if uh, magnetic field is not there the particle will finally move in that direction like this. But because uh, force due to magnetic field in this direction and uh, QVB so QVB is in this direction force is in that direction so the force is in this direction because of uh, magnetic field QVB in that direction so must be towards the center of the circle so the body has to move in a circular path like that so force is in this direction so body must be in this uh, circle so body must move in this circle in this uh, plane so it has a tendency to move off and this has a tendency to move there so there is no chance that the body will move in a straight line with uh, this this is not possible so there is no more calculation needed this is not right answer so let us solve, solve the next uh, option that is option number two which is given as 3 to r 3 for column 1 2 and r what does that uh, 3 stand for 3 stands for proton with velocity 0 is a proton and initial velocity 0 2 stands for electric field in negative y direction electric field in uh, negative y direction this is for magnetic field and this is r r means it is uh, b not y cap this is in positive y direction now suppose that uh, this is my x this is my y and this is my z and uh, the magnetic field in the particle proton is origin originally at the origin with uh, zero velocity no velocity is given and uh, the electric field is uh, given uh, in this direction negative y direction so if i don't apply this i only apply this the proton will start moving in the direction of the electric field so it should move in this direction this is the force uh, due to electric field then what about the force due to magnetic field the magnetic field is also in this direction in this direction obviously not downward direction but upward direction but okay so then it is in this direction then uh, v cross b will be zero because uh, we know that the cross product of uh, velocity velocity is in this direction and b is in that direction the particle is in this direction with the velocity v and uh, b is in this direction so the cross product will be zero cross product will be zero because this is a sign of 180 zero so there is no effect of uh, magnetic force or uh, force due to magnetic field in that better way so this has no effect only the electric field will act in this direction and the particle will continue to move in this direction that is negative y direction so this is uh, fine and that option should be correct so for uh, 15 the option number 2 is correct we don't have to check the other options okay so this is the answer to this question okay thank you